this was a super question that was posed by Crystal. How do I use the level test if in full screen I could not drag the items? And this was uh, solved by a teacher already um, and I will show you how to do that. First you go into use the template to copy your template. Now before this extension, in order to do something, we would have to, had to have done it in this mode so that the kids would have seen this. And then when you were doing your level test, you could drag. And if you had just put it in the present mode, nothing works. It just keeps moving. So there is an extension here and I'll open my extensions. It's called Full Screen Interactive Google Slides. And I have it pinned so that it's here. So anytime you're in any of your slides that you want to have an interaction with, with the students, you will then just open them by using Full Screen Interactive Google Slides. Okay. And now it has become interactive. You can now drag your check marks and then you use your arrows to move through and then you can have them circle you can have them use the circle here the boy is wearing a cap yes or no there are the correct sentence would be there they can circle it or you can have them uh, draw as well so you would just give them a line and just have them draw so the scribble and then they can and then you'd have to erase that and then go to the next slide and then again you can drag here and then there's an example and then they drag and then we go to the next part of the comprehension and they will write and they can easily you just hit text box and then they can write their answers <coughs> excuse me and then they can match again they can drag they have your lines right here they can drag any of these lines or scribble here and then again filling in the answer so now you can just drag the arrow what is this what is this what is this you can ask them uh, and then you can ask them how many like what is this this is a bag how many are there there are two what is this this is a book how many books are there there are two and then you can ask just questions then you have and you can have them identify each one of those so I hope that explains how to use it and have a great day